Gold Breakfast with James and Erica. Gold That's got to be pretty tough working with your partner, don't you think? Oh, the nice though. Where did you meet your wife? At work, funnily enough. <laughs> <laughs> It's the first radio station I worked at, at Chilton Radio in Dunstable, and uh, Sam was on reception. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Actually, she was 18 and I was six years older, and we knew each other for six years before, you know, we became more than just friends. You were a little bit of a cradle snatcher six years younger. No, no, no. We knew each other for six <laughs> years before. All right, okay. She's she just 18, would, very young. She wouldn't leave me alone. Six years of phone calls and letters, <laughs> and I finally went, all right. I will go out with you. <laughs> who made the first move? Well, I don't know. I've, over six years, who made the first move? We both kept in touch. One of those things. Did your eyes meet across the reception desk when she was answering the phones and <laughs> that little glint was in your eye? She used to bring the papers into the studio whilst I was doing the breakfast show. Oh. And then she wouldn't leave. It's been a bit like that ever <laughs> since, actually. <laughs> That's so not true. I'm going to ask you where you met your partner because we're only on till ten. <laughs> Where did you meet your partner? All sorts of people have been in touch with us. And good morning to David J. Harrison. He said, my partner was working as a waitress in a cocktail bar. I picked her up, shook her up and turned her around and turned her into someone new. <laughs> oh, no, that's a song. I met my partner at a dump of a pub in Romford called The Albert, which was full of losers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, David. And they say romance is dead. Uh, Lorraine and Bob in Hornchurch sent us a lovely text. Hi, you two. We met at Pontins in Osmington Bay in 1968. I was 16 and he was 21. We celebrate our 40th wedding anniversary this August. Who says holiday romances don't last? Where did you meet your partner? Rob Anderson is on the phone. Morning, Rob. Hi, James and Erica. We're very nice well. I understand you. there's a bit of an anniversary today. Uh, it is, yes. Yeah, it's 50 years ago today that uh, my wife and I met. 50 years? Um, Do you know, hats off to yeah. you for remembering. <laughs> well, thank you for reminding me, actually. <laughs> Online dating, have you done that? I have done online dating, but I've never got beyond the first date. And speed dating was really good fun. Right, I quite like speed dating. How does speed dating work? It's where there's like 50 men, 50 women. All the men sit down at different tables with different numbers. And all the women have to sit at each table for three minutes. Then after three minutes, they ring a bell and you get up and move around and move on to the next table. You have to make a list of who you like and who you don't like. And the men do the same. And then at the end, the people who organise it put it all into a computer and then email you and tell you who fancied you and see if you match with anybody. Has it worked, that, at all? <laughs> yes. All right, OK. So <laughs> what's the longest relationship you've had out of speed dating? About a fortnight. <laughs> oh, right, there we go. Long term. <laughs>